15485 Maple Ridge. I'm gonna run through, uh, do all the rehab notes in the front of the house. Uh, we, need, we need all the bushes uh, removed completely. It'll be part of the landscape. Uh, a lot of overgrowth in the back too, but we remove all these bushes. Um, we do have one window, broken glass up top there. I'm gonna have to get the glass replaced. Um, downspouts, gutters all appear to be in good shape. Um, this one here has some overgrowth affecting it, so we'll have to see. Uh, probably repair, replace at least a section of that. And then we're also going to exp extend all the downspouts away from the house and fill in the old cracks. All this overgrowth to take care of. See in the backyard too. And chop all this down, uh, including all the bushes, which are really just overgrown weeds. One tree in the middle there will stay, but everything else come out. Back of the house, this door here, we have to put, uh, looks like two cement steps there and a small handrail on one side. The garage, um, need a new garage door on, just go the cheapest route possible, no need for a uh, electric door opener or anything like that. And even though it's a two car garage, the door is only for uh, a one car door. Um, this front window here, redo with plexiglass. And there's a side window here. We'll just board off. Uh, the frame is shot on that, so we're just gonna board that off. Uh, eliminate the electrical from the garage. There's no uh, outlets, or excuse me, no light fixtures, just a couple outlets and some loose wires. So we'll go ahead and remove all that, cap everything off. This wall in the center here is not a support wall. We're gonna eliminate that just to open up the garage. That should be it here from the exterior. Inside's not too bad, just a lot of cosmetic stuff. Um, go inside here. Entry doors are good. front door here hardwood floors throughout um, they're in good shape just need a real good cleanup maybe a, a light buffing and uh, a cleanup the fireplace uh, he's been told it's been capped but we'll go ahead and take a look at it we're gonna cap that off uh, no need to use that I'm gonna paint throughout one color uh, walls and ceilings like a light cream light tan color um, there's no major blemishes in the wall, just some, some light peeling here and there, so minor touch-ups. Um, electrical appears to be intact. There might be a handful of uh, outlets we'll have to uh, update, not a big deal. Come over here into the dining area. Uh, I believe he did have uh, updated light fixtures throughout already, so I don't think there's much to do there. Again, electrical-wise, just some minor uh, replacements, outlets, things like that. We are going to have to uh, put GFI's uh, bathroom kitchen. And I believe one or two in the basement as well. Uh, the kitchen here, we're going to put uh, new vinyl flooring. We can go with the mid-grade, uh, the peeling sticks. The ones that look like ceramic, the kitchen, breakfast nook, and the landing here as well. Uh, this door here, we're going to keep. Probably just have to put a new knob on there, touch this up, paint it, rehang that. Uh, the hinges are loose there. The kitchen cabinets, uh, we're gonna keep, but refinish these. Scrape, paint, nice cleanup. Uh, put some new hardware on there and inside, give them a good cleanup and put, probably just put some tag paper down. Clean up on the ceramic. We'll keep that as well. Uh, the range hood, the electricity's off right now. When the electricity's on, we'll test that. If it's operable, we'll clean that up and keep it. If not, that's gonna come down and we'll just patch the wall behind it. Breakfast nook here, just needed some paint. Uh, we're gonna put some blinds up throughout, but just the, um, the horizontal blinds, the cheaper ones, uh, throughout the house. On the lower level, and I believe a couple upstairs are the older uh, wooden windows. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, I think a lot of them were painted over. 
So what we're gonna do is um, go ahead and scrape those and, and get those uh, operable. We do everything we can to save uh, the, any of the existing windows. Again, kitchen here, and we're just gonna be one or two GFIs, no big deal. Um, smoke detectors were needed. It looks like they did have them at one time and they're missing. Not a big deal. Just you had to put it, install a handful of those where needed. Go downstairs real quick. The basement will uh, clean up the floors. Give them a good clean in, scrape up any loose stuff, repaint the floors, repaint the walls. He wants like a, a neutral color there, like a lighter color. Maybe something similar to upstairs, tan, cream color. Um, furnace is missing, so we need to replace the furnace. Uh, we're good with keeping costs down to use a refurbished one. Uh, same with the hot water tank. Missing that there. We do have a uh, updated uh, circuit breakers, electrical panel here. A couple minor things like tack up that uh, the cold air return. Uh, the plumbing appears to be intact for the most part. There's going to be a few blemishes here and there that we'll have to take care of. I can see one spot here uh, where the PVC is cracked. Um, I believe there's some missing by the laundry tub as well. So we'll test all plumbing. Um, but again, for the most part, it appears like the galvanized impacts are, are still intact. That's where the hot water tank goes there. Uh, drain covers were needed. Uh, it wants us to get rid of the shelving unit here as well as the shelves and all this leftover uh, stuff in the storage closet here. So get rid of all that. Also, um, there was like a half bath down here, but it was really just a toilet. And we're gonna eliminate that, cap it off, and remove these walls. Just to open things up down here. Goes into the laundry area here. I think we'll just, we'll remove basically these walls to my right and probably just go right from this area here over eliminate that and then in the laundry area here uh, this is the old laundry chute we'll go ahead and cap that off and remove this uh, little wood catch basket here um, any of these loose wires looks like they did have a security system at one time loose uh, security wires and cable wires we'll eliminate those um, here's your laundry tub here. We can definitely use this laundry tub. We're just going to have to uh, continue the plumbing where it uh, got ripped out there. So from this point on, we have to run plumbing and install a faucet in the laundry tub. Everything else appears to be okay. Gas line there for the dryer. The dryer vents already installed uh, and a 220 line there. So not a whole lot to do other than eliminate this wall and cap the toilet. Um, here in the laundry area. I'll go back upstairs. Through the dining area, living room. I'll go upstairs to the second floor. Again, minor minor patching. There's not uh, I didn't notice any drywall needed, needed to be replaced or any holes, no big holes in the wall. Just a lot of little patchwork. So upstairs here again, same thing. We're going to clean up these floors. Uh, we are not going to uh, strip and restain. Just maybe the light buffing and uh, clean up. In bedroom number one. This one here, we're going to remove these shelves. Um, they're blocking the access panel to the tub. So we remove those, um, and put closet poles uh, in these closets where needed. Outside of that, just clean up the floors, paint, blinds and the windows. Bedroom number two, pretty much more of the same. Ceiling fan fixture, that can be kept. Again, just minor, minor patches on the walls. Yeah, this closet here, we'll put, uh, looks like they do have closet poles. So we'll get rid of some of those racks there and save the poles. Third bedroom. Same thing here. This room does have the older uh, wooden windows. And again, just like the ones downstairs. Um, we're going to try to salvage these as best we can. I think we're just going to uh, scrape away where they've been painted over. Make sure they're operable. 
closet space here. And lastly, on the bathroom, I'm in pretty good shape here. Uh, we'll clean up all the ceramic walls. The tub areas that need a really good disinfecting and cleaning. Um, the tub area, the tub itself will clean up real good and we're going to go ahead and reglaze that. Got some rough spots there that won't come up, so we'll just go ahead and reglaze that. We are going to need a, um, a shower head and a tub spout here. And we're going to have to go ahead and test, uh, test all the plumbing throughout and the drains. We're going to have to test this uh, exhaust fan here once we have the electricity on. Make sure that's operable. If not, uh, it'll need to be replaced. The toilet and the pedestal sink appear to be good. Uh, the laundry chute door there, we're going to go ahead and seal that off. And uh, remove this wallpaper border trim and paint. We're going to paint this whole uh, bathroom, or at least you know, from the ceramic up. Uh, vanity strip light fixture, we're going to eliminate that. Just put a single uh, light fixture above the medicine cabinet there. And another GFI needed as well. And that's about it.